Hi guys! It's a sketchy lady back here for another sketchbook tour. So this is another Dilution sketchbook that I started in February 13, 2018. So I often carry my sketchbook with me in my purse and I sketch during karaoke, during Starbucks trips. Well since then I've stopped having Starbucks so I just go there to sketch now. Maybe have some water with my water flavor in it. So I love this app called Sketchy, as I might have already said before. Get lots of different people and faces and challenges there. So these are watercolor. They had something called Friday Face. Now they don't, they have something else. So I do a lot of watercolors. I love the cartoony look. If I wanted to do realism, I would just take a photo. My niece drew this for me, Cynthia. This was waiting in the hospital during my brother's heart surgery. I haven't inked my shoes or the books, but there it is. And some more watercolors. This was aqua pastels. Probably Jane Davenport wanted to try those out. See how they worked. I bought a new little watercolor palette, so I wanted to test them out there. Sometimes I really love architecture. Challenge on Sketchy. I turned 40, so I wanted to put that in there. I really love this portrait. I just wish that I had done his lips differently and shaded more under here so that you could actually see his bottom lip. These were with ink tense pencils. This is on a cover of the ink tense pencils, the metal tin. I love photos with glasses and reflections. I think I think they're just really fun and I love adding all the little details like moles and freckles to really show who the person is. I painted this while sitting at Lake Sacagawea in Longview. These pages are really thick. That's what I really like about this Dilution sketchbook. I bought some more watercolors, so I wanted to swatch them. Cured Taki watercolors. Here is my old house in Longview. We have since moved to Oklahoma, three weeks ago basically. And here is a fast food restaurant called Nips in Longview. I loved going there for soup. Most people go there for the burgers or the milkshakes, but I went for soup. More watercolor portraits. I love drawing little animals with their people, so there you go. Well, let's move this down a little. I really love how she turned out. Here are a bunch of my favorite apps at the time for my iPhone. Here are some more swatches from watercolors that I bought. If you can see the metallicness over here, I drew this while I was waiting for a baby to be born at the hospital because I was hired to take the pictures. She ended up having a c-section so I got to take before pictures and then after pictures. I really like this. This is watercolor with colored pencil on top. Here are some colored pencils that I got. I tried the pit brushes but I did not like those. Another watercolor portrait. I tried to test out this Pentel brush pen, see what kind of strokes I could get. I drew this in the car while going up to Seattle with my sister. This I sketched from my son's hospital room when he fractured his skull and got a concussion by riding a ripstick that his cousin owned without a helmet during our first day of camping. Rainier Days over in Rainier, Oregon. 
posted Sanctus Real and I got their autograph, so that was really neat. This is the view from inside my car while I waited outside with my son in the car while my husband went in my brother's house to visit. Probably picking up the other kids. I never finished this. I was going to draw the Wii 3 from Americans Got Talent since I watched them at Lake Sacagawea. This is a sketch of Sweet Spot, which is a frozen yogurt place in Longview, Washington. As you can see, alcohol markers bled through this page. It had Starbucks sketches of people. But look how vibrant they are. This was inspired by Vex on YouTube. Then we have this portrait in pencil, cola race. more portraits. I never really liked this one, but I didn't like the photo either, but it was a sketchy challenge portrait, daily challenge. I really like how this guy turned out with this mask and just in the black pen. This was a challenge to combine two pictures, so I combined mountains and this guy's face. My friend Jacob at Starbucks asked me to draw him a new name tag, so he picked... Which one did he pick? I think he picked... Yeah, he picked this one with the star. All circles. This guy reminds me of Toby off We Are... Uh, this is us. <laughs> I never finished this girl. I wanted to, but then I didn't want to, so there she is, just in black and white. I absolutely love how these portraits turned out. These two are my faves. These are watercolor with pencil and pen. The white pen shows all the polka dots and I just love it. Some more random sketches while doing karaoke and pool league in Longview. Never finished this one. It was at karaoke at Silver Star. At least I got the star in there. Some more faves. I just really love color. And watercolor with colored pencil seems to be my favorite. This is gouache. I was trying gouache out. My sister-in-law, Holly, drew that. Then these are from lineofaction.com. Quick, probably 10 seconds, probably 30 second poses. five minutes, two minutes. I really like that website. It helps you loosen up and just get the basics down. And then take it even longer. There's five minutes and you get portraits. This was at Panera Bread with my friends Nini and Carolyn. Then this was at Karaoke. This was at the end of Stamp Out Hunger in Astoria, Oregon, while they were putting everything away. Then here are some more. These were off of Pinterest. Okay, some more Starbucks. <laughs> I like this guy. I added the jail suit. I really like how she turned out. Watercolor. Then I had started this down at Harry Gardner while the kids were enjoying the water, playing around on a nice summer day, June 1st, 2019, a year ago. Some more watercolor. Then I really wanted to start playing with gouache. And then this was gouache with colored pencil on top, and I like the texture of it. Some more gouache and then figuring out some skin tones here. Figuring out my mixes. Then just some pencil. Then this was another sketchy that I never finished. I just get bored sometimes. Okay. This was at the Longview Library. And then this was waiting outside the Columbia Theater while my son and 
my cousin's son were in a play. It was pretty neat. And then my ink tents swatches and some Marvy colorins that I bought just to test out. And that's it. So my last sketch was June 29th, 2019. And now I'm on to a bigger sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.